Hey, what's up everybody, Dr. Ray, and today we are going over the object selection tool in Adobe Photoshop. So this is another magic selection tool, just like a few others that they have. You know, we've got our, our circle and rectangle selection tools, our lassos, the poly and magnetic, which are the ones I use all the time and they're my favorite. Um, and then we've got our quick selection and magic wand tool and now this object selection tool. So what does this do? Basically, this is another tool like a magic tool that's supposed to like select an object out of the screen for us to make it really easy to select. Um, I found that it does an okay job and it's not bad. It's another tool to play around with, very similar to the quick selection or magic wand, which I kind of think they do the same thing, but they've offered this tool. It does have a few more options. All right, so let's talk about how you use this tool. So first thing that you do is you take this tool and you look on top of the screen and this is like your, do I want to select something? Do I want to add, subtract, or like intersect two different like select pieces of things that I've selected. So like, am I adding to or am I subtracting something that I've already selected? So that kind of helps you like if you're selecting multiple things or like trying to do it, like refine your selection, um, you would select one of these. Then we have something called Object Finder. So Object Finder, I click this and what it does, like if I bring my tool over the screen, you can see automatically it found my image has like a line through it. This is a painting that I made. If I scroll over it, it like wants to select the top half. And you can see right away there, it's selected like the top half of the image with that part of it selected as well. Let's deselect that and go back to the tool. All right, so that's Object Finder. So if you had like, you know, the example they give you, you can see like right here, look, I select over the sun. It like recognizes that the sun is an object and wants to just select that. And you just are scrolling your mouse over and seeing like those little points, but it's not that great, it's okay. All right, I'm gonna deselect the Object Selection tool. We got some options here for the uh, Object Finder too as well. All right, then we've got our mode. So we've got two modes, lasso and rectangle. So what that means is like, let's say I just take my rectangle and make a rectangle. It's gonna look for objects within my rectangle. Oh, couldn't find any objects there. There we go, we found one in here, which is just like part of this. I don't know, it's, that's what I like to select. So that's what it is. It's, it's a magic tool, remember? So, you know, as I scroll my triangle, my rectangle over, it looks for objects in there. And then what I can do, I'll, I can look at all layers if I would like to, but I'm not doing that. I just really have one layer right now. Anyway, we are looking for a hard edge. And then I can, between this, just basically like if I would uh, use like the masking tool, I would be able to select and mask, um, but I'm not doing that right now. So I don't need to select that for any reason, but yeah, that's it. It's just basically another magic selection tool. And I mean, is it any better than quick selection? Nah, not in my opinion. I think I can play around with this enough. And to be honest with you, I don't use quick selection. I don't use magic wand at all, really, because they just have too many issues. Unless you're selecting something that's really cut and dry, then it's a little better. But personally, um, I think it's just another magic selection tool to you for you to play around. But I totally recommend you go and play around. Like you can see the example like that Adobe has is like just an image on like a white background, which it makes it super easy to select, assuming that's what you're doing. So it can be a nice tool for that. So yeah. All right, anyway, play around with it. See if you like it later on.